Travel opens your heart, broadens your mind and fills your life with stories to tell. So I'm going to share our travel stories to Georgia. So friends, in this vlog we'll be seeing the 10 best places to visit in Tbilisi, the capital city of Georgia. ഫ്രണ്ട്ലി ആൻഡ് ലവബിൾ Actually, we never felt that she was a stranger. She was more like an old friend whom we met after a long time. That's our clock tower. Okay. You might see it doesn't look very symmetrical, but that was the plan. <laughs> okay. Do you want to know back if you need to look at it? Like, how old are these? Ah, oh, this was only um, finished in 2010. Okay. This is, this is not really the... original part it was just added on the puppet theater okay fine fine but looks much older actually right yeah, that yeah that's why the architecture matches yeah. slightly to support to support okay. <laughs> so this one is the smallest clock in the city oh <laughs> nice in the city and it actually works look <laughs> This one over here is our president's palace. You know, president's palace. Okay. Glossy roof. But uh, our current president is not living inside. Okay. There, so it's left without president. <laughs> well, why, so where is he living now? Uh, she. Ah, okay, actually. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, our president is female and she's living in a different uh, residence. which is not so far from here is more old styled okay um well this belonged to the previous president so she did so what currently <laughs> currently this is not presidentless used? <laughs> okay ha no need to magnet the magnet sir georgia gives please magnet oh, as i mentioned earlier the spilisian architecture uh, is very famous with this uh, wooden made balconies and all the different plants on it people would just come up here drink tea or have fun going to see the bridge of peace it's like a bow shaped pedestrian bridge uh, it's made up of steel and glass construction and uh, illuminated with numerous leds it's very beautiful to see at night this is over the kura river and this bridge will connect the rike park with old town in central tbilisi this is a well known landmark and a popular tourist attraction in the capital city any idea why it is called as bridge of peace uh, strategically location of georgia was very important and is still very important for especially for our neighbors so as you know we also have a current conflict with russia as well okay. the latest war with them we had in 2008 okay pretty recently so the people who decided to build this bridge 
uh, thought that this would be a very attractive place for tourists. Of course, they knew it. So they just uh, kind of wanted to put the message inside the name of this bridge. So they called it Bridge of Peace. So because it's a message to foreigners who are coming into Georgia that we are a very peaceful nation and all we ever wanted was a peace even though we had so many invasions we were invaded by so many different nations probably everybody in the world who had the power invaded us uh, and still we have the current conflict so we just wanted to tell everybody that we want peace and that's all we ever wanted and needed we also have this uh, monument of Mother of Georgia. Maybe you can that see one, it yeah. here. It's up there on the mountain. Next, you'll be seeing the monument of Mother of Georgia. And in the left hand, she's writing glass of wine. Okay. Uh, it means that if you're coming for the peace, we will always oh. offer you a glass of wine. But if you're coming for the mess, we are always ready. Uh, <laughs> With the and we have the, we have the, yeah. <laughs> Sword. So it's up to you to choose. <laughs> I think you came for peace, right? <laughs> Let's go to the fountain. You can take some pictures here, and then we're gonna go by the cable car up there to see the view, and then we're gonna walk again down from the hill. So, Tbilisi was founded in 5th century. 5th century? Yes. Oh, it's a very old city. So, previously in our historical sources it's written that Tbilisi was founded in 6th century. But previously, a couple of years ago, they found a very old city wall which dates back to 5th century. So now we say that Tbilisi was founded in a, the end of the 5th century, the beginning of the 6th. So, oh. it's been like more than uh, 1500 years. <laughs> Is this the longest cable car here? No, 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 it's actually only 500 meters. Okay. It's uh, 2.5 gel per person? Yeah. 2.5 gel per person? Yeah. Next, we are taking the cable car to visit the Narikela Fortress and to see the beautiful view from the top. So this is the European Square.
5th century Narigala fortress, mother fortress. So from here, soldiers could take their night shifts and control whoever was entering the town or whoever was living, if the enemy were nearby. Currently, there is just one church inside. Okay. So as I mentioned earlier, this fortress from the backside is naturally protected by the cliffs. So it was almost impossible to attack from that side. And from the front side, you can, well, you can see and you're protected the by walls. So it was a pretty secure place. Yeah, this kind of thing is, is in the Tretha The name of this city comes from uh, old Georgian word Pili. And Pili means worm. So this is a warm place, not just because of the thermal waters, which are found in Tbilisi, but because of the uh, geographical location. Tbilisi is uh, protected by mountains all around. It's like a circle of mountains. So it's not too high from the sea level. So it's all, always really warm. Even in winter, if outside the capital temperature can be like minus something, in Tbilisi, it remains minus one, two. It's never too cold because it's naturally protected by mountains. This is our Juma Mosque. Okay. You can not know you are Juma Mosque. Yes. subscribers and if you're not a subscriber take your chance uh, now we're going to explore the authentic soul of Tbilisi and neighborhoods how people used to live and how they still live so it's a very narrow street so you can feel that authentic soul we're just passing somebody's houses <laughs> and there's houses so well. people are still living here right yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? Green one. Do you see the green colored stones over there? Oh, okay. That's because the chemicals in the in the water affects the stones, so okay. it changes the, change color. the color. That's yeah. the sulfury one. But uh, you cannot see the water, right? Sulfury water? Uh, no, it's just the uh, stuff. The stones, like it's, yeah. They just it. Oh, this is a love, lover's bridge. Okay. Uh, you may see the same concept in Netherlands and farms in Italy. That's where the lovers uh, put the lockers on this bridge. So it's uh, kind of the representing if they lock their lock, so it stays there forever until somebody will come and take it <laughs> off and sell it again. Okay. <laughs> what is the name of this waterfall? Lehbetachevi. Lehbetachevi. Huh? Oh, really? Yeah, good. it comes from the botanical garden. Okay. Very about sulfur bath? Yes, this Tbilisi is very famous for this. People visit this place for a soak in sulfur and a traditional massage also because it has got many benefits like it is very relaxing and it is also believed to treat skin problems such as eczema, dry scalp and arthritis, digestion problems and even insomnia.
А что еще можно вообще? Что в Словении есть? Да? The different packages. Which one is English? I think this one is English for you. Bite it, bite it. Okay. <laughs> Take it. Huh? This is a hazelnut with? Uh, hazelnut and grape. White, what is the name white, of this? Uh, Churchela. Huh? Churchela. Churchela. <laughs> yeah, good enough, by the way. Oh, there is a pomegranate. Trinity Cathedral. In Georgia we call it Samiba. As you can see it's not the ancient one, it's pretty modern, finished in 2004. So it started in uh, the late 90s. So this is the largest uh, this cathedral? This is the biggest uh, Orthodox Christian Cathedral in Georgia and third biggest in the world. Okay. This one is unique not just because it's the biggest but it has something unique inside. It has underground church in it. Okay. So it's not just the one floor, it has church. How many floors in, below? Uh, one so floor below? These this are like uh, 48 steps. Okay. So almost the same, but down. Okay, fine. beating the dragon The Chronicles of Georgia is a historical monument which is located near to the Tbilisi Sea. It has got very attractive sculptures inside, absolutely worth a visit. The Chronicles of Georgia. Okay. Constructed in the 80s. And up there you can see, for example, this one is a Georgian writer. Uh, I mean, up there it can be queens, kings or writers. Okay. And down there, it's all the scenes from Bible. Bible. Okay, you like that. You can see the Jesus. So it's Jesus a combination. The cross. Yeah, so down. Com it's a down, combination yeah. of Georgian history as yeah. well as uh, the Christianity. Yes. So down there, it's all the Bi Bible scenes. Okay. Like how, like from the beginning to the end. And up there, it's all the queens, kings, great writers was female but we call her king i mean in yeah in english sources you may see it's written queen tamara but it's just for foreign people who understood her gender but in georgia we call her king 
Why do you call her king? Because uh, she was daughter of a king, and after the king, she became king. Okay. Uh -huh. king. And also because of the power. Yes. So the reason why this monastery is called Tuvari, which means cross, why is this monastery called Monastery of the Cross? Is because before this monastery, in the fourth century, there was established a wooden made cross on this mountain. Then they built the monastery around okay. the cross in the sixth century. So now when we go inside the monastery, we'll see the the cross, wooden made cross, which represents the original one. What is this called? This is this is Aragui River. Okay. That one is Mkwari. Maklari. Mkwari, Mkwari. That's the river we saw in Tbilisi. Oh, okay, okay. The same one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can you can tell by the oh, color. The same river. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they merge here and it goes to Tbilisi from here. Okay. So the river you see in Tbilisi is the merged version already. Okay. So this one contains actually four rivers. Mm -hmm. So this is called Arag River, but it contains four different Arag Rivers. Okay. Uh, that's why the color is different, because it comes from the north part of Georgia, from the mountains, and that's Mtwari. And as I already told you, Mtwari comes from Turkey. Yeah. So that's where they merge, and the merged one is going to Tbilisi. And they have the dam, so they can control how the water level will it decrease or decrease in the town. By this dam, they can control it. And in the middle of this um, coast is um, Tsheta. Mm. So this town is old Tsheta. Uh, it's a uh, former. That, that area. This area, mm. this whole area is old in Tsheta. There's a new Tsheta over there, which is like new new buildings. But this is all old part of Tsheta and it's a former capital. So this one was uh, capital of Georgia till 5th century and then Tbilisi became capital. you all enjoyed watching this vlog it is just the first day of our tour there is a lot more to watch keep supporting friends if you guys have any queries i'll be very much happy to respond to all your queries thank you so much